I'm making tiramisu. I'm so excited because it's one of my favorite desserts in the world. So I've separated my eggs because I also add in the egg whites, which I fluff up, which makes it super light. Um, I've got my egg yolks in here. I'm popping in cast sugar, and I'm gonna whisk those together, and then I'm gonna add in the mascarpone. I'm adding in the last bit of mascarpone. And the secret here when you're putting in the mascarpone and you're whisking is that you don't over whisk it. You want it thick and you want it to be able to kind of hold itself. If you over whisk it, it becomes too runny. That is the mascarpone, cast sugar and egg yolks just together. See how thick that is? That's how you want it. Um, and then I'm gonna pop in a little spoon of espresso to flavor this cream. Now this on its own is so delicious with like ice cream or you could serve it up with a chocolate tart. It's absolutely sensational, this sauce. Okay, that's that bit done. Okay, we can pop this to the side and then clean these all because we need to whisk up the egg whites. So the egg whites are whisk and they have a lovely soft peak. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold them into this mixture. And what will happen, it'll make it really, really lovely and light. And it does make such a huge difference. So that's done and it's lovely and light and fluffy. Mm, I love it so much. Okay. I am putting my tiramisu in these really pretty cocktail glasses. You could use, you know, a lovely serving dish and layer it up and serve it more family style. I've got cold espresso, and then these are boudoir biscuits. And what you do is you pop the boudoir biscuit into the espresso like that, and then you turn them over, tap it, and then you break them in and pop them in to the base of it. I'm putting three of these boudoir biscuits on the base of each one. And then you want to just lightly, just push them down like that. You don't want them to be too soggy. So all of the bases are done. And then next, I'm popping in this gorgeous, creamy mixture on top. Oh, it's heaven. And then we'll finish it with a dusting of cocoa powder. Yay. And lastly is the beautiful velvet rug of cocoa. Oh, beautiful. If you were gonna make these in advance and pop them in the fridge, put the cocoa powder on just before you serve it. Oh, look how beautiful they look. Oh, these are my favorite dessert in the whole world.